Welcome to the channel guys, another video coming at you on the motor and I'm getting high on paint fumes right now from painting the engine mount bracket. So that is just great and I even have the door open but it is extremely strong in here which it is what it is, it's fine. I mean it was getting dark out so I had to do what I had to do but anyway we're going to be putting some more parts on the motor and I must say this is coming along just fantastic i'm really falling in love with this cover on the top and i hope you guys are digging that as well it is really just a cool accent to the motor and also the zzp billet oil cap so every time i go to put something on this car or on the motor i should say it is just it's just making this build better and better and just even just one more bolt onto it it just it just gets me super pumped and super excited so i hope you guys are enjoying the build so far and i hope you're enjoying the video so don't don't be afraid to leave a comment below whatever um on anything future videos you want to see whatever the case may be be sure to subscribe and if you guys are enjoying the videos please give it a thumbs up so we're gonna jump right into it today what we're gonna do today is just throw in a couple more parts that i have um, I've had the alternator for quite a while now and this pulley that goes on the which I believe I po I painted this in one of the past videos and this basically is going to mount right here where that little whatever you want to say machined edge or cutout is in the front cover and then there's a pulley that goes on the other side as well so I'm going to get that mounted before I even do anything I'm going to get the pulley fast and um, get everything ready to go and then I can begin to put that on there. I want to start to get everything as far as I can, as far as the pulleys and everything go. I do have to get the harmonic balancer or the ATI, whatever you want to call it, the super damper. Um, I am getting a upgraded one, so it's not going to be just your standard regular harmonic balancer anymore. And the price difference is like night and day. It's like maybe 50 or 60 dollars versus three four hundred dollars so it's a like a huge difference there but i'm definitely going to be doing that it's going to help with engine vibrations and whatnot so that's besides the point that is another video so we will jump right into it and i might i probably will paint the other side of that as well and get that thrown on that also goes on right here so every little piece that goes on this thing is just pulling it all together and I'm super happy with how it's looking so far. And I hope you guys are as well. The overall, I mean, it just, it looks so clean. It's such a clean build. <laughs> All right. It's such a clean build so far. And I'm just absolutely loving it. And it's going to just look amazing when it is in the car. So I'll get some stuff put together here. Get this pulley put back together and everything. And then I can assemble that.
finally the alternator is mounted after a long time of having it sit over there on the workbench for a very long time and i finally got all this other stuff assembled the engine lift bracket that is put on and the idler pulley and everything and all that stuff's on i did not tighten the tensioner yet i just kind of let that hang because and let the bolt in there and this one's not tight as well and i did make a note that i do need to tighten both of those um, so I'm going to wait until I have the belt and everything back on, and then I will tension that back up. But as of right now, it's just going to stay loose so I can move it around. And that cricket is very loud wherever it is. So anyway, with that being said, we are moving along swiftly, sort of, kind of, and everything is going... You know what, I'm just not even going to say it because I don't want to jinx myself. So, not even going to say anything like that. Just ignore that last part. Anyway, got the engine mounted. Engine mounted? Alright, yeah. Engine mount bracket on there as well. Or the engine mount, whatever you want to call it. So that is on there and I did actually repaint that as well. So that looks really crisp and clean. So that is going to conclude tonight's video. I have some more parts coming for the fueling system or fuel system. So I have some more parts coming for that. And this is just, it's, it's coming along really nicely. So I hope you guys are enjoying the build as I said earlier. And I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. If you are, please give it Please give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to smash that subscribe button and share the video as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Any comments, be sure to leave them below. Have a great day.